So I'm going to also bring it up in my Windows. And Windows machine is a little slower than my Mac one, so the video will probably be a little longer. But MAMP is great for um, working locally on your computer. And um, you can later build websites with PHP that connect to your database. For now, we're just going to be using the database portion and um, using PHP my admin to connect to MySQL. Um, you can bring up MAMP, you know, just type it in the search bar. Now I already, and you just click there. I already have it up, so I'm going to click here. Um, and I'm going to start, oh, I already started my servers, but here, I can stop the servers. I'm going to start servers. So you just click here. And if the web page doesn't come up automatically, you can click on Open Web Start Page. Right here, front of my face, PHP My Admin. I'm going to click on it. And you can see by looking at the URL that it's in localhost. So localhost, we're running it on our, locally on our computer. Now here, um, I'm in PHP My Admin. It's going to look a little different than my videos, which are which is PHP My Admin running on the computer science server, which I don't want to use because I don't want to rely on it now that we're home. So I want you guys to work locally. And if we click on the database, so actually you won't have a database initially. You'll have to follow my instructions. Then you'll get a database. And after you create one, then you'll have a database to work in and then you're going to be able to create tables inside it now mine already has some tables that i've started if i click on the table and then here you can see um i can actually see the values the rows that i have inside my table but you can look at structure tab to see the structure here and which is basically the different columns that I had when I created this and um, you can also look at browse and you can go back and forth depending on what you're going to do the SQL tab is of course where we will be going to do all of our SQL because I'm going to want you to do it directly in this tab and you know not do it the cheating way but I'm going to want you to really type SQL